show the four corner control pass and uh, start between the opponent's legs, assuming his legs are already open. Take control of the lapel, center just below the chest line here. You don't want to keep your arm too far in. This way you are at risk for arm, 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 arm. And never straighten your arm like this. Always keep your arm bent. Okay? I actually like to keep my elbow um, inside of his thigh. Okay? Controlling here. So from here, I push down with my hand straight down. I don't want to lean to the side. This way it's easy for him to reverse me. Because I already lost my balance like that. So when I push, I want to use my weight. Okay? See how I'm using my hips? Okay, I'm, I'm in good balance. From here, it's very hard for him because I'm controlling his hip here. Now, I'm going to go over with my shin on his leg. And then I'm going to lock him using my foot behind his knee here. This is very important. Because if I don't lock his leg here with my foot behind his knee, he's going to just trap my other leg. I can still pass from here, but it makes it more difficult. So, when I go over, my shin, I have to lock behind his knee. Right now, I'm going to drop my weight on him, okay, chest to chest, control his head. So this way, he can't really turn either way, okay? And try to turn this way the other way, I have my weight on him, controlling him. So now, I'm going to let go of his hand, grab behind the leg if I can reach it, and bring it up, okay? And from here, now I'm going to back step my left leg. So I still have my weight on his chest, and look, I'm on, on the side of my leg, okay? One common mistake that people make is this. They stay like this in the pass. You want to keep your hip on the floor. And from here, you do the hip switch, bringing your left leg over here. And then you keep your weight on his chest, controlling his arm on this side, controlling his head underneath, when you're finishing, you go Shimogatami. Start so, chest to chest, control the left and the head, to the leg, pass, finish with the pin. Sometimes, maybe you don't get, especially with bigger guys, you might not be able to get that leg when you're passing. It's okay, even if you just pass from here by blocking the leg. Okay? The whole purpose is so that he doesn't come up and try to catch your leg or try to get up. But you have to always keep your foot on his knee. This way he doesn't move. Until you do the hip switch, this foot stays here. So from here, here if he tries to come up, he can't. Okay? And then, the hip switch. And that's the four corner control pass. One of the more, most fundamental passes in Judo.